Hello, and welcome to another edition of Golf Soup. As always, I'm your host, James Leith. Uh, we're back at Lupton City, as we always are here anymore. Uh, but we've got a, I don't know what you would call it. What would you call it, Brad? It's a throwdown challenge. It's a throwdown challenge that Brad has, has, has put on me uh, this week. He has uh, challenged me to play nine holes in 40 minutes. And for every birdie that I make out here today, we're giving away fifty dollars uh to someone to give away to someone in need we all know people who are in need now i, I want to be clear that this money is coming out of my pocket it's not coming out of the play it forward fund i'm going to pay this 100 percent and we'll just keep the play it forward fund going as it's going uh but it's going to be a a tough battle we're not turning the camera off once i i hit my first shot you're going to see everything we got. You can see Jackson rolling around in the grass like he is over there right now. You'll get to you'll get to hear some things out of me that possibly you don't want to hear. <laughs> and I'll, I'll try to make sure I, I do a good job there. But uh, it's going to be 40 minutes of getting it is what it's going to be. And let's hope that I make four birdies. He said 45. I, I challenged you at 40. Yes, I wanted 45 minutes. He challenged me to 40, and I, I took it. So, um, anyway. And I'm going to have it on the, my timer, and you can time. They can time it at home too. Yeah, you're, you're more than welcome to do that. But anyway, it's going to be fun. I've been building at my house all morning, hauling up T111 by myself, and I'm a little sore, and we'll be all right. Anyway, golf course in pretty good shape right now. Uh, greens are growing out just a little bit. I haven't mowed them today. Probably won't mow them tomorrow. I've been mowing them Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, and man, they are in great shape come Sundays, but I need them to grow up just a little bit, so they'll be a little bit slow, but I've got to be fast in my play. So let me take a minute, get my music in my ear, check my balls, my, my golf balls, that is, and uh, we're going to tee it up. Here we go. First hole here at Lupton, par five. I don't even know the yardage from where I'm playing at today. I'm playing from the senior tees today, so I don't have time to really look into it either. So here we go. Right down the middle, Brad. Right, let's go. Beautiful. I see Joel coming in down the road there. That's Wally, people. Y'all hear me talk about Wally? No, he must went to the store. That's Jackson. Come on, Jack, I got to go. Wally going to the store. Drink and gamble. Whatever. Timmy has drowned it already, Jack. You didn't get to us in time. We buried him last week. That was a pretty good first shot there. Didn't go as far as I'd like it to have gone. That's all right. Your second shot is wrong suit. Not right now, it's not. I've been working on some things and they're not exactly working. Okay, let's go. 122, 132, 142. I can get there with this. Got a little lightheaded right there, Brad. And we do not play it down out here at Lupton. Fairways at one point were in good enough shape to do it, but they're not right now. I didn't hit it very well, but I'm going to get away with it, much like I did last week. Oh, the hell I did. I came up short. Oh, me. I can't miss Birdie on the first. Let's go, Jack. Ah, ah, ah. 
My hand's already getting numb, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah, I don't think I can putt it, though. What? You're yeah. the master putter. He says he doesn't think he can putt it. Watch this. Ooh, look at the worms coming back, Bradley. You're just hearing I thought. Oh, I can't miss birdie on the first. This is one of the few chances I've got, and the worms are going nuts. Time to get the castaway out. That's going to cost me right there in time. Bingo. Oh, sweet. 36 minutes on the dot. Six minutes? You got 36 minutes left. Oh, so I just took four minutes. Just took four minutes. Four times nine is 36, if I, my math's correct. All right, here we go. What is it, Jack? He said, Timmy's stuck in the whale. <laughs> he don't know the truth of all that. Transport's gonna cost us a minute. So 36. Transport between T and green. That took uh, a minute. Yep. Second hole. Love City Golf Club, par four. Slot dog leg left. Goes down a hill, up a hill. I don't hit it far enough to get there anymore. Certainly couldn't get there in these wet conditions anyway, so just gonna try to hit a good solid golf shot. And I did. Right. It's just a fudge left of the flag, Brad. Yeah. But that's a good place to come in from. Okay. Let's roll. Here we go, Jack Jack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you think he's really saying? <laughs> I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> he says it over and over. Jack. Good boy, Jack. Did you cut up the names or did you go keep them all on one piece They're of paper? On right okay. I think we probably ought to throw pars in on par threes too because the par threes are so dead on tough. It's up to you. Well, if that's true, it's my money. <laughs> <Yeah>. It's your <laughs> money. <laughs> Oh, you know that shot, Jimmy. Yeah, I do, but guess what? I've broke every sandwich I got. I do not have a sandwich left. Well, I got one. Yeah, I know. I've been using yours all weekends when you're not here. <laughs> it's right Mr. Dickie on the, on the, what's that TV show? The Green Acres. Green Acres. That'll be $25. <laughs> I'm going to put it anyway. I'm putting it, just trying to stay in the game. All I'm trying to do here, guys, is get a something inside 10 feet, keep us in the game for a birdie. That ought to do the job right there. Come on, ball. Ought to do the job. 
That's inside 10 feet for sure, probably seven or eight. And it's downhill, which anybody who knows me knows I love downhill putts. Yeah, that's true too. That's an error on my part. I'll put this one real fast. Whew. It's not ants, it's more of my old cabinet man used to say to me, if it's not bed bugs, it's piss ants. Something's gonna be biting you all the time. I, I never can figure this put out. I want it to go to the right, but sometimes I think it goes to the left. Lane, that's 50 dead gum dollars. We gotta run back to the car. This is my first run. Yeah, and he's like way ahead of me too. Thirty-one minutes. Alright, here comes hole number three. Par four. Trees on the left. A bunch of gunch to the right. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't really care if I make a, a big number. Because uh, all we're looking for today is birdies. The good score is not really what I'm out for today. I'm just looking to get some money to some people. Doggone it, that was a good putt back there. Yeah. If I'd have just gave it a little bit more. <laughs> That's a beautiful shot, Brad, but it's just a... Oh, oh no! It didn't make it. No, I saw it come back behind the pole. For sure. Man, that was a that was a peach of a drive there now. All right. Like I say, I'm I've been working on stuff on the irons and it's not really been working. And now I'm out here trying to play in 40 minutes. I got a dog that won't shut up. Right a novel over there. If you play golf out here, you're gonna hear Jack bark. Yep, he plays a lot of defense a lot of times. Come on, boy. Oh no, is that the ball? That's it. It hit a limb Man, dead. You were wrong. I'm telling you, it, it was almost came right down between them and it would have been right up there next to the green. It is what it is. How far are you out? I'm one. I'm aiming it at the 100 yard mark. Oh. <laughs> I'm 111. 111. Out from behind the pole. Got to keep it left. Got new sod up on the left. Got to keep it out of that. God, Brad, I'm just not getting down on it. It's gonna be all right. Yeah, it's fine. I'll make a stupid par. 58. Yeah, four on three is great any day though. No, it's not either. That was an easy shot. I'm just, I'm not, I'm getting out ahead of it. My stupid head is getting in front of the ball. But then I sit my head too far back and I'll hit it fat from time to time. And I'm just, I don't know if you're on the camera or not. I don't care. Actually, that's, that is makeable. I knew it. Again, I don't care if I make bogey, double bogey, whatever. It's going to be right. It's going to be right. And short, too. I don't have the speed of them down pat just yet. 
I'm not even going to line it up. All right. Good pour. Oh. Yeah, I'm old man. Taking up time. <laughs> what's, go. what's our time? We got 27, 27 minutes and 28 seconds left. Yeah, and I got some, some birdies to make. I like my chances on five and nine. Seven's a crap shoot anymore, depending on how I hit the driver on that one. So you got birdie, par, par. I'm gonna do something I don't ever do. I'm gonna pull down by the tee here. Ooh. All right. No. It's all right. No telephone. I asked somebody to call me. Love to city golf. Hello. Hello. Well. Goodbye. Ah, oh, damn. I, I pulled a stupid driver out. Focus. Did I break my six iron too? There it is. I need that white thing back in there. Let's see if I get one airborne here. I ain't done very good so far. Number four, par three. Probably playing 155 from where I'm at today. Get behind the ball, stupid. Oh, that's hit so well, but I've tugged it just barely left. Oh, it ain't never gonna bounce. I quit, I gave up on that crap a long time ago. <laughs> I don't even want that driver anymore. I throw it in the woods. We'll get in the cart. Yeah. 25, 22. Jack's been in the spa. That's spa number one, by the way. He has two spas out here. He's a lucky dog. He can play golf, he can go swimming. It's the park all he wants. Everybody out here feeds him. I want to be Jack. If I could come back as a life, it would be Jack's. He has got it made. Oh, no. I've hit it a little long. Man, I hope the microphone's still working. I you... think I'm sitting too close to you. Are you hearing it? All right. I'm putting it again, Brad, because, well, I just don't have any wedges left. My temper's been on the bad side here lately. Phone's ringing. That's not bad. Right. Lufton City Golf. That's the same damn number and it hung up again. Now this is a tough putt. Yes. I'm gonna take my time and line this one up. Golly, it did not turn at all. I played it right there on the edge too. Oh well, we gotta go. Back to even par. Only one birdie in the bunch so far. Where's Jack Jack? 23 minutes. 23 minutes. We're, we have, I have 40 minutes and we're through four holes. Jack Jack, let's go. 
pair you are. <laughs> Number five, par five, short par five. Tees used to be down in the bottom down there, but we abandoned that tee box because quite frankly, the mowing situation out here just, that crap wasn't worth mowing. I built this tee box first year I bought the place. And everybody plays up here anyway, plus carts going down that hill, get sideways and people tear them up. Crazy. I don't know, Brad. It it's in the runway right now. All right, let's go chase it. It's not all the way up the hill. I don't think it caught a cedar, but it might have just barely clipped one. It's close to the top of the hill. You like it up there. If I can get one airborne. This is a must make birdie here. I agree, Jack. I think I'll knock one down here. I see it. Yeah, it's just fine. When I go up, get up here, guys, you, you'll see that the ball's in some red clay there next to the trees. Now our rules out here allow us, it gives us right to grass, so I'll be moving it, which we move at two club links anyway. Two club links will get me where I want to go. Make sure that I can find a decent patch of Bermuda somewhere. Uh, that's not good Bermuda. It's not really good grass either, but that's what I'm gonna go with. What's the club, bruh? I got eight, but I was definitely thinking seven. I think I'll go back to it. I know it's wasting a few minutes, but I'll hurry. I need to start this at the right side of the green or just right of the green. Really, I just need to catch one solid. I did not. I've hit it horribly again. Go in the hole. Ah. On the back. On the back. Got it. Great. On the, on the damn. That's another horrible shot. What in the hell is wrong with me? Brad challenges me to. 40 minutes, I'm sore as I can be from toting all that T111. They don't know what T111 is, Jimmy. It's great big old four by eight <coughs> sheets of, basically call it plywood, but it's siding. And my stairs are so, at, at such a steep angle that it's, it's you can't put it on your shoulder or, or hold it down and haul it up. You gotta actually drag it up once you get to the stairs. That's after you go through the first, first flight of stairs. Ah, oh, crap. This is gonna be a rough putt here. It's all right. There's very little grass on the back of this green, but then it starts becoming really good. So it's very difficult to judge this one because you know it's going to be fast starting out, but slow coming in. Get up in there. 
good enough. That's good enough. Get the job done. That's, that's it. You may make it or pick I'm, it up. I'm calling out a birdie. All right. Another one bites the dust, baby. That's two. Two names on my list have been taken care of. All right. We've got a long way to go now. Yeah, and I'm going I'm to throw in a par on this next hole. That's one for the... 17 minutes and 11, 10 seconds. Holy cow. That's five holes. But we do have two par threes on the back of that here. It is going to be close. Oh, yeah, and if I don't get it done in 40 minutes, nobody gets any money whatsoever. That's right. That's the throwdown. Throwdown challenge. I think he can do it. You better speed up, then. Shut the hell up and, and we may swing. We may challenge other people to come out here and play in 40 minutes. I don't think anybody else would be able to do it. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, shoot. Break didn't go on the cart. That was almost a disaster. That's what you get for hurrying. We might have gone over 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I think we definitely would have gone over 40 minutes. I don't think we can walk the remainder of it in that time. Number six, par three. Probably playing about, because it's wet, probably playing about 175. Come on, man, hit one good iron shot today. Oh, that's hit well, but I'm going. It's going to leak a little bit to the right. Get oh, up here. Got a nice kick, yeah. almost on the green. It's it's not actually on the green, but it's just what six inches off. No, it's just four inches. Four inches, whatever. You know I'm going to embellish about inches. <laughs> uh oh, oh, here we go now. Somebody, oh, somebody cut that. Woo! Oh, don't do that. Wait, what is that? Oh, oh, oh. I need a quick two putt and get the heck out of here. That should get us out of here at about 13 minutes. We got 15.43. All right, I'd like to get out here with 14 minutes to go. And par's on the table for the $50 as well right here. Because this is a very difficult hole. Even though I'm on, it's still a very tough putt. Or not on, actually, but very close. Four inches off, isn't it? It's about two. I was going to say Hell, I, that one ran a lot better than I thought it would. Doggone it. That's a definite tester. I don't think I can take it out of the hole, though. Maybe just on the left edge. Okay. I wasn't looking for okay, I was looking for a yes. Yes! Good enough. No. That's another $50. Man, that's a great putt. Yeah. These par threes are tough. Yeah, they're, they're monsters out here. Absolute monsters. All right. We play close to the hole out here. Out, every week, pretty much on every low ball that we play. And uh, there are a lot of times that money goes unrecovered because nobody hits the greens. Yeah. And then, of course, all that money, if nobody hits the greens, the money goes into our Play It Forward fund, which goes out to people that will help. Brad's been able to do it twice. I know one place he put it. I don't know the other place he put it. Hey, tell him how hard it is for me to hold this camera. I'm sure it's very, very tough. Back in the day, 
long before I got left in city and Brad came along I had co-hosts and we would take turns filming each other it's it's not an easy task whatsoever short par four here but even though it's a short par four I still hit a driver I just try to manipulate it enough to get it up there where I want it God I want birdie here real bad one good shot I've got it tee too low and I know that but I'm not changing it I'm going to account for it phone rang again there's my right kick Lufton City Golf we got 12 minutes and 32 seconds left we are a public course sort of we're not open to uh, the public till after 2.30 on Saturdays and we close down at 6 o'clock on Tuesdays for low balls but in, in Friday you're welcome to rock and roll yeah that's fine sure what time no we do not oh no we do. what I'm saying is we don't take tea times that's it no it's n well no no you're welcome to come absolutely welcome to come so uh, what time are you looking to be here all right if uh, nobody's here just give me a call and uh, I'll make sure you get a car I'll make sure you get taken care of somehow I'm building me a house right now so I don't usually come in until about noon no it's just not of course yeah I hate to be rude but I, I got to go you're welcome to come out brother just come on out if nobody's here give me a call you're very welcome thank you Nice conversation there, huh? Oh, don't run left. That's not going to be a birdie. That's not even going to be close to a dead gum birdie. It's close to a bogey and it's going to be a birdie. That's all right. I've got two birdies and a par in, right? So I've got three taken care of. I just got to get, I got to get my last one in. This green here has some bad spots. Brad and I have fixed it many times throughout the years. We just finally said, whatever. Go right, then left. Just say yes. Yes. All right. It went a lot more left than I thought. What's our time look like? We got, we got nine minutes and, <sighs> and 20 seconds left. And the guy from Yonkers is calling. We got to play. He can't stop asking questions. I don't think he can understand either. Yonkers. Who the hell lives in Yonkers? The Yonkerini. <laughs> All right, nine minutes, right? Uh -huh. Here we go. I'm going to birdie this par three. We got eight minutes and 43 seconds. 43, imagine that. And I'm sure, well, some of you out there that are watching this know, but 
because you play here all the time and you know Brad's MO, but 43 is Brad's number. It's not lucky or unlucky. It's not his lucky number, it's not his favorite number. It just comes up all the time, so every golf ball that he gets, he puts 43 on it. And once a 43, once it's inked up, you can't stop looking for it. I mean, he once tried to send me to the bottom of the Tennessee River to find one. Par three, over what used to be a pond, winter rains, blew out the dam, just a big sinkhole now. It's wet, I'm hoping it'll stop. Got eight iron in my hand, gotta hit a good shot here. Well, I've struck it well, but I did pull it left. Oh, man. And a little long. Doggone it, that's not gonna be a birdie. I don't know, I made it from there a couple weeks ago, but that's just dumb luck. Down the hill. Always on them right, except the last time we filmed. We were oh, yeah. waiting to film him. Barking going down the hill and he was he dead there. silent. He went there, he shot. Are you shot, Jack? I'm just gonna grab the putter and put it again. Try to get right there in the valley of love. In the valley of love. Jimmy, you got some heavy duty for me. Uh, uh, Velcro right there. Nah, I know. Heavy duty Velcro right there. But pitching that you don't have any room to play at all. No, it got it, it it did. It took a couple bounces, but it got right in this high velcro right here and right. it whacked me. Bucks. What's our uh We got five minutes and forty-nine seconds. I gotta make this one quick. I got this real bad spot right there that scares me. I put it just right on the edge of that bad spot. Hmm. Another par on a par three. All right. The last hole, par five, short par five. Used to be a par four. We converted it to a par five to give us three threes, three fours, three fives. You can see we played as a par four, but for goodness sakes, everybody likes to feel good about themselves. And now in the end, when you make a bird of your eagle here, you. You just, you kind of feel good about yourself, particularly those lower end golfers. Brad. <laughs> hey, quit talking about it. <laughs> I don't ever feel good. <laughs> What's our time? Four minutes and 35 seconds. 4.35, I can do this. All right. There's an old green up there. It used to be number seven green years and years and years and years and years and years ago. That's my target. Can't see it from here, but I know exactly where it's at. Well, that's not it. A little bit to the left. A little bit hell. I couldn't. I didn't hit it hard enough to hit the tower. I, that was. That was. That was very babied. Okay, now I'm starting to get worried. What we at? Three and a half minutes. Three and a half. Go, Jack. Go. Go. Get on your pony, boy. Three and a half minutes. That's just. 
I'm just two shots away, or three shots away. Well, we hadn't found your ball yet. Oh, I'm not worried about that. That's the good thing about playing so much over the years. You pretty much know when you hit it about where it's going to be. Particularly okay. if you play at the same place all, all the time. Right. Hey, I'm There it is. I'm going to move it out from under the tower. No, I'm going this way, Brad. Yep. Because that telephone pole is in our line of sight as well, so we get relief from that. Uh, yardage wise, I don't know. I'm hitting this club, and whatever happens, happens. We got two and a half minutes, Jimmy. I know. That's left. That's no good. Let's go, Brad. Let's go, Brad. I'm just taking the putter out and Jimmy, we got we got about two minutes. All right, I'm I'm running. I'm hustling up the Hancock. Oh, that's gonna hurt. All right, we've got four in the bank. We only had four to give, right? I think that's right. That's correct. Let's see, you got two par threes and two birdies. Give me my time. You got a minute and 40 seconds. I'd like to end with a birdie. This is a terrible place to putt from. The grass is way too high. This is a stupid play. Oh no, I just tried to hit it. Hard enough to get it through that stuff. What's your time? You got one, you got a minute and 15 seconds. Oh, I got plenty of time. In that case, let me show you how you make it when you must. Am I under a minute yet? Yes. Come on, James Edward. You know it don't break much, but it will break some. Am I under 30 seconds yet? 38. Oh, you're kidding me! <laughs> oh, that was a good try. Man! I almost had the camera on it. I think I got it. Oh, man, that what was a... Left? Really? We got 17 seconds left, 16, 15. Wow. Well, that was fun. Uh, fun for you, maybe. I, I cannot believe I missed that, that last putt. I mean, I, I rarely miss them on the last hole when I've had the time to compose myself. and It went just in one side and out the other. That kind of stunk a little bit. But That's my alarm going off. Yeah. I apologize for the camera work. We we're in a hurry. It'll, it'll be all right. Uh, oh, we gotta get the names out, don't we? Yeah. So. We didn't tell him we didn't want to show it ahead of time because we didn't want him to feel bad if he couldn't do it. Well, I made it. I wish I'd have made that last birdie though. These four women, I think, are very, very good women that I'm very proud of. Um, I hope they'll do good with the money that they get from today's episode. You know they will. I know they will. So, I'll be in touch, or you be in touch with me, either one. Wish I'd have played a little bit better. Let's see. Uh, two birdies, one bogey, one under, and... Less than 40 minutes is not that bad. I still hate that I missed that last putt, because, man, that was a good putt. Hey, where will we see you? Oh, I'm sorry. For Brad Allen, James Leith, everybody here at Lupton City Golf, Jackson, 
We will see you on the course, hopefully this one.